Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Nova Atus. Now, when we left off, we had launched our initial assault against the Saranids, and now we have an opportunity to take TARDIS, and I think we're probably going to be doing that, but there is a vassal in the way, so maybe he's going to try and defend against us, but I'm not going to be allowing him to do such a thing, so let's just take a look and see what we're doing here. So yeah, I think we're going to go for some agility here and probably increase our leadership because those troop wages, they're going to be, are, are they actually that bad? I don't even know, but we're going to just do that for now because it obviously gives you a little bit of maximum capacity as well, and I think that's always a, always useful. So let's just take a look. Yeah, our wages aren't, aren't actually that bad, but it's fine. It's fine just to have a little bit more on top of that. And we're going to increase our agility a little bit more. And obviously, as, as, we, as we can see here, we don't even need tactics or engineer because Quinius has them. So it's rather nice. So let's see if we can chase this guy. Oh, he is actually traveling to Tartus. Well, that's that's kind of a shame, isn't it? That is kind of a shame because I would very much have appreciated attacking him but, oh, oh no, he's actually not. He's actually not going inside. Well, I'm actually kind of surprised. Is he being chased by those Mithridians? Well, that's rather amusing because they could have attacked me as well, but apparently they decided not to. Well, I suppose that's, that's kind of agreeable, isn't it? That's fine. So let us now charge in and, oh yes, we have another wonderful ladder layout here. I'm not entirely sure. Is this the default ladder now? Because if this is the default ladder, then I can imagine we are going to be much more successful than usual because it gives you a lot more cover from the enemy archers. So I'm I'm very pleased with that, but yeah, I, I don't really I don't really think we're going to fail this either. They only have 60. I don't even know why they only have 60. I can assume that maybe the Mithridians nearby decided, hmm, maybe we should siege that and weaken it for Diggory, and apparently they did that. And so, yeah, that's that's actually rather nice. Okay, so Quinius has already been eliminated, but he's already kind of done his job because he is technically our tactician and our engineer, so not much to really do left for him, is there? I mean, he can get some experience, of course, which is always a nice thing for him to get, but I, I don't really mind... If he... No! Yes. That happens. That apparently... No! Ah, yeah, I forgot about that. This mod automatically takes you out of the fighting sometimes. Ah. Well, we actually killed a huge amount of them, so technically... Wait a minute, shall we ask for a meeting with the castle commander? Surrender! Oh, okay, apparently they're not going to surrender. Well, that's kind of a shame. And uh, that has now been besieged, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We we have enough time to take this and then head back and defend Terra Grit. So why did it? Why did my ladders not get built? Oh, they did get built. I just didn't react to them being built. So the game thought that I wasn't reacting. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's about time that we tackle some more Saranid vassals, as I believe. You know, they they they, they just want to they want to weaken us and we're not going to we're not going to allow that, are we? No, we're not. So, let's see if we can get into a nice position here. Obviously, we have only infantry. Yeah, only infantry in our army and uh, yes, partially that is a, a quite a detrimental thing. So, once I am able to gain a foothold somewhere, I'm going to try and get our archers upgraded because obviously I don't really have any towns to go to any further. I think the only faction that has not declared war against us are the Vagias. So, I, I believe at least. So, if we do want to... Oh, maybe the Kurgits as well. Yes, maybe the Kurgits as well, but yes, we're going to have to head over there if we want anything to do with buying things from a marketplace. So, hmm, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of daunting because the Kurgits are quite far away, the Vagias are even further than them, and I don't really have the time, as you know, because obviously Terragrit just came under siege once again. Well, not once again, but is under siege, and, well... We don't really have the opportunity to do anything about it, do we? No. So, okay. Now, obviously, the Saranids, they are on the next levels of technology. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, as I just added levels, yes, in there. But, yeah, they are quite heavily advanced. 
And as a result, I'm going to try and see what I can do about taking out their musketeers. Their musketeers are obviously not even that deadly, I think. I personally feel like the javelineers are actually a little bit more deadly than the musket men, but maybe maybe I just haven't gotten hit by one of the muskets yet. Once I get hit by one of the muskets, I think I will change my tune, perhaps, but I suppose we'll see. Are we? Are we going to get... No? No? Not at all? No? I, see, that's the thing. I think the javelineers are probably going to be much more deadly because they are just a lot quicker, you know? They fire a lot quicker, they are potentially more accurate, and as you see, many of our forces are being killed by javelineers because they are, as I say, a lot quicker to fire and everything. So I think that's probably the case there, but we're going to just wade into the rest of them. Oh, yes. Try and eliminate as many as we can. And this is just an overwhelming wave of Dagnabia, isn't it? Ugh, they really just don't know what they are doing. They don't know what is happening, and they don't know whether up is down and down is up, do they? I mean, literally. They are just being killed left, right, and center. The main problem now, though, is that they are spawning in a couple more of these musket men. They do have cannoneers, but thankfully the vassals don't appear to know how to use them. Similar to me, so <laughs> that's always nice. I do know that many of you told me in the comments that you do need an actual cannon and cannonballs and gunpowder, as far as I'm aware, in your inventory to be able to use cannoneers appropriately. So I'm kind of a bit, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do the extra work because I'm lazy when it comes to that sort of thing. Because I feel as though those cannoneers should supply themselves. They're just scoundrels wanting to mooch off us. And they, they very much want to just steal our cannonballs and run away. I'm, I would love to see that. One, one of these units just joining your army and then just picking up a cannonball and running off into the sunset. But I doubt they could probably do that. It's going to take them a long time to run away with a cannonball. It's very heavy. But, oh, yes, this is, this is also fantastic. Not being able to get up the hill is great. Come on, horsey. You must do it. You must do it for the victory of... Uh, never mind. Yeah, I was going to say the victory of Dagnabia, but no, it doesn't really matter because... Yeah, we were so close to the perimeter that they decided just to retreat. Which is absolutely fine because we lost a grand total of three units and we killed 179. So, there we go. There's only 56 remaining, so I, I, I think we've got, I've got, we've got this in the bag, haven't we? Yes. What bag, though? It's, it's kind of proverbial, isn't it? Yes. It's kind of an imaginary bag that doesn't really have any purpose other than to store our enemies' heads. Because, of course, we are the villains. We are now very villainous, and we will be stroking our goatees over their corpses. And, yes, doing all kinds of villainous stuff. As you can tell, I'm not used to being a villain, so... <laughs> ah, yes, I'm gonna have to gonna have to consult the guidebook. Consult the guidebook. But yeah, as it stands, I think I'm Ah, oh, there we go. There's a little bit of damage from the Musketeers. Good work. Good work, Musketeers. I'm I'm very pleased to see that you actually did something now. But not really. <laughs> yeah, of course. I am just jesting with them because of course they you know, they they're not really well known for doing a lot of da ah. Yeah, it's not really well known for doing a lot of damage, but this is what the fearsome cry is for. Yes. Exactly. You run away there. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to tell my people just to charge in. But as you can see, I've interrupted many of the musketeers, or at least I hoped I had. Yes. Okay, we're going to be sparring with them because apparently they are not wanting to break formation. If they break formation, they can probably kill me instantly. But apparently they're not deciding to do that for some unknown reason. And there come my forces. So this is going to be... <laughs> they, they wasted their opportunity to assassinate Diggory, didn't they? They completely wasted it, which is actually kind of amusing. I'm unsure why they decided to do that, but... Oh, oh, never mind. They might have a chance at assassinating him still. Maybe? Am I, am I going to be able to heal myself? I don't know, but I'm going to heal our surrounding units here. Oh, it seems like everything's going perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my bow. Shoot them in the back like the villain we are. There we go. And, oh no, is that... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so I don't need to shoot that guy. And maybe I can shoot some of them. Yes. Ah, oh, there we go. It's actually working. Shooting them with a bow and arrow is working. Well, that's rare, isn't it? It's very rare. 
We should probably use it a lot more because once your proficiency is high enough, above 200 or so, you start to do a lot more damage and start to shoot a lot faster and everything and the accuracy is obviously great. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's something to take into account, but at least we have eliminated all of the Saranid vassals in the area, I hope. Cross fingers and we'll be able to siege once again. Kind of surprised that we had that problem, but I kind of thought to myself when I was walking along the wall, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna slip off here. Yes, probably, yes. It was just like five seconds before that happened. I thought, oh, that's a little bit tight. Not gonna be able to get in there. So yeah, I attempted to squeeze through, but no, that was, that was not good. So I'm gonna be capturing some of these and we're going to be taking some of them prisoner because, of course, we do have the opportunity to regain some honor from the execution. Because, of course, we are going to be executing most, if not all, of our prisoners that we gain. Because we already have every single faction, apart from two of them, I, I believe, declaring war against us. Or oh, maybe Swadia. Hmm, maybe Swadia has not declared war against us yet. Well, anyway, I think that might be kind of cool to pursue the villainous route. And, okay, so yes, there you go. I actually had to click on the world map to be able to access my ladders, which is kind of a bit of a mistake on my part, but it's okay. We can now head in once more. And hopefully, oh, I have veteran cannoneers in my army for some reason. Oh, they really should not be there. Well, anyway, I have restored all of our HP as much as possible, and we're going to now ascend the ladders once more and see if we can capture our rightful thief, because everything technically in Calradia is ours, it's just a matter of time before everyone realizes that they should be under the banner of Dagnabia, because we are very, very nice people who don't execute anyone, obviously. So yes, we're gonna try to sow the seeds of niceness and non-executiness, because obviously we are, we are not executing anyone, no. No, we don't slit anyone's throat. And we always donate to charity. So, yes, I think that is... I think that's, uh, you know, that's what we're going to pursue. It sounds good to me. However... <laughs> ah, however. Yeah, yeah, there is a however. If we can pull this off without losing too many units, because obviously the Huskarl and the Veteran decided that they wanted to run in there and kill themselves for no reason. And again... Yes, apparently these Koragalum guards, yes, I'm butchering the pronunciation, just like we are butchering them, of course. But yes, I am kind of surprised that they are actually holding us up this much. Come on, you must be able to get in there. Kill them. Yes, there we go. Okay, so that's, that's at least a little bit decent. There is actually someone up there. I'm going to get out my bow, and I'm going to see if I can get a headshot on this guy. Oh, now he's using his shield. What a disappointment. His family must be very proud. Oh, well, never mind. I would probably be doing the same. So, yes. Oh, no, there we go. He's he's turning. He is turning like a, a turning station at a railway. Yes, exactly. Very slow turning. That's what I meant. Anyway, there we are. That is victory. That is victory for us. Okay, so I'm going to be taking some Khan's lances here. And what else am I going to be taking? Well, they do have horse archers. They do have horse archers, which I am going to be taking as well. I have three spaces. What do I want to do? We're not cannoneers, thank you. Uh, maybe these horsemen, I suppose, considering they are on horses. And I suppose we'll just get an archer or so. That seems fine. Okay, so now we can leave here. I'm going to be giving this to this guy. Now, am I going to be giving it to him right away? I don't know. Am I... Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to defer appointment just so that we can get the automatic garrison. I'm not entirely sure if the garrison that he gives will be, well, consisting of Dagnabia recruits. Because if they don't, then obviously we are vastly weaker if we partake in the actual siege itself. In the siege defense, should I say. But there we go. That's also partially the reason, because then I wanted to get a bunch of veterans. Yes and swap those out, so that's always nice. So, let's see, we can talk to these guys and we can offer them freedom and then we can gain some honor back. There we go. I, I don't even know, how much honor do we lose for executions? 
I mean, I, I, we haven't done any before, but, you know, it would be a rather nice idea to check, just in case. So, we have minus 65 honor. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, uh, I, did, I, did I neglect to say that I executed a couple more Aztecs? Well, yeah, anyway, there we go. Yeah, I did that before the previous episode, actually, and I forgot to mention it. But anyway, minus 65. How much honor do we lose for executing these guys? Okay, so, let's see here. You must pay for your crimes. There we go. Okay, so he's dead. It didn't say that I lost honor or anything. Is the text box a little bit bugged out? Ah, there we go. Yes, that's a little bit bugged out because we lost relation with everyone. With everyone, by the looks of things. I don't even know who. Shall we Shall we take a look? Okay, so basically everyone from the Saranids and all of the villages and all of the towns in all the world hate us. Well, technically, they don't hate us, but they, they're not they're not particularly happy. So, let's take a look. How much did we lose? We lost five. Okay, so we just let four enemy units go, so basically we only lost one, kind of? Yeah, that, uh, that's not particularly good. Okay, well, anyway, Terragrit is now under siege, and we must make our way over. Ah, hello there. Are you still besieging it? Can you can you tell me? Wow, there's a lot of Mithridian vassals here. Apparently, according to you in the comments, Mithridians do not have the greatest unit quality. So, I'm kind of happy with that, but obviously I'm also a little bit disgusted with our treatment by them. Because obviously, look at them. They are just swarming us. It is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. Okay, so they are just going to go over there and waste their time which is fantastic. Very good. Yes, waste your time further over there. Thank you. And I'm going to go over here and see if I can defend if they are even... Nope, nope, they're not even bothering. Okay, so apparently they just wanted to waste time and raid a village for no reason. Okay, so we also have two defectors, by the way. Two defectors have joined us, I think from the Vagiers, I'm not entirely sure, but one of them has taken 45,000 from our well, shall we say, funds for our kingdom. So I'm not happy about that at all, and I don't even know who he is or anything, but we're going to sort that out in upcoming episodes. So for now, I will end this episode of here. Next time, we will probably be fighting against some Mithridians, and we'll see how that goes. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.